Hello everybody, welcome to Crossover, and this week we are going to be talking about love. So, we are going to be reading from John 15, verse 9 through 17. And we're just going to talk about, you know, love, you know, we're just going to read and talk about it basically. So, I guess we begin at verse 9. It says... I have loved you even as my Father has loved me. Remain in my love. When you obey my commandments, you will you remain in my love, just as I obey my Father's commandments and remain in His love. I have told you these things so that you will be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. So, basically saying, basically saying how God is going to tell you things and it's going to bring you joy, you know, like how, like when you get a, a vision or something from God, or like when someone gets a vision, or like God gives someone a vision to someone for you, you know, it, it fills you with joy, you know, because you're like, oh, well, God's thinking about me, you know, and, you're, and you, you just get filled with joy, you know, that God took the time, you know, to give someone a vision about you, you know, second thing. This is my commandment. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. So, that part was saying is that there is no greater love than laying your life down for another's life. You know... That someone loves you a lot when they're willing to die for you. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you slaves because a master doesn't confide in his slaves. Now, you are my friends since I have told you everything the Father told me. So this is basically saying how Jesus isn't going to consider you a slave anymore because as with the example that he gave, you know, a master doesn't, you know, talk to his slaves, you know, like a friend, you know, as Jesus does with us. He talks to us like we're friends. He tells us everything that God tells us through the Holy Spirit. And he's basically saying is that we are no longer slaves. We are his friends because, as I said, so... You didn't choose me, I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit, so the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. So God pretty much chose you to go love other people and produce more love in a way. And when you pray and use God's name, you could get anything you want well, not anything but you could get anything you want from God on his time yeah on his time so if he asks for a million dollars he might not give it to you instantly but eventually he might if he doesn't then it just wasn't meant for you to have this is my commandment. This is my command. Love each other. Our society is lacking love. A lot of it. Because a lot of our world is just full of hatred. You know, just people holding grudges towards people. You know, most of the time it's for no reason. For misunderstanding. And a lot of people just like to take it out with anger instead of talking. A lot of people don't talk about things. And in the Bible, it does say is that words are powerful, you know, your tongue can destroy someone or build someone up, you know, so that is taken literally and it, it is literal, you know, your words can affect people. It doesn't matter what you say, you know, whatever you say can affect people and will affect people in different ways. Like if I were to, you know, go up to some random person and just start, you know, down-talking them. I, I would not do that. By the way, please.
just don't assume that I would do that. So I would not. I would not do that. <laughs> so, if I were to do that, then that would negatively affect them, you know? they That would probably make their day pretty bad, you know? Same thing with actions, you know? Actions that you do can ruin someone's day, you know? Like if, if you were to take the last cookie or something like that from the cookie jar, I don't think your sister's gonna be very happy about that. I know mine wouldn't. She'd probably yell at me. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it would negatively affect people. Actions can negatively affect people. Words can negatively affect people. But they can also positively affect people. So if I were to go up to my brother and say, you're a nice person. Though sometimes he annoys me. A lot. <laughs> you know, that would make his day probably. And that would in turn make his mood good and make everybody else's mood good probably. Most likely. I would hope so. Spread good vibes. <laughs> so, it could positively, negatively affect people. It can destroy people, you know? The words that you can say can destroy people, you know? And it is very true. So I know is that, you know, a lot of parents, they probably say, you know, think about what you say before you say it, you know? Uh, I bet is that a lot of parents say that, you know? And, or haven't had said that, you know? So I bet is that that's probably stuck in your brain. You probably forgot to use it a lot, but like me. And most of the time, I don't remember to think about what I say before I say it. You know, and then when I speak, it's just a bunch of gibberish. Most of the time. Like, I start talking and then I completely forget what I was talking about. Because I was just speaking gibberish. Literally, I can I could be over here talking to my brother. Just trying to talk to him like, Hey, decide how would you put it put it put it put put it put it put but, uh, and I completely forget what I was trying to sell him because I I didn't think I didn't think a lot of people you know they don't think before they say stuff so when they don't think you know they, they just blurt stuff out that offends people and once you say something you can't take it back that's bottom line it's pretty simplistic and I don't know why people think is that they could take words back I don't think that's how English works. I don't think that's how your mouth works either. But, yeah. Just speak positive into people's lives so that you spread love into other people's lives. Even ask God for to give you more love. And He will give you love. He'll give you love so much that you'll overflow onto other people and then the love will go to other people so that's pretty much it. the first time and the verse of this week is john 13 34 through 35 so now i am giving you a new commandment love each other just as i have loved you you should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. With the verse of the week now I already said, if you guys, anybody watching, would like to accept Jesus Christ into your life, maybe you want that love from God. You know, you want a relationship with God. You know, you want God to give you love. You know, then I want you to say this prayer with us. Jesus, I pray that you come into my heart. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. I believe that with all of my heart, all of my soul, all of my mind. Dear Lord, I am yours. I am no longer my own, dear Lord. I cannot deal with my life on my own. My life is too stressful. Maybe, if that's you. 
My life is a mess. Dear Lord, I pray that you watch over me. You give me your guidance. You guide me throughout my life. Dear Lord, I thank you for the good times, the bad times, because I know is that everything works for your good. So dear Lord, I thank you for all that you have done. In Jesus name, amen. And if you said that prayer, welcome to the family of God. And thank you for watching this video. Have a blessed day or night. And we will see you guys in next weekend's video. Goodbye.